I'm on my fourth language now. I'm learning Polish. I've always struggled with learning languages. I'm not someone who finds them naturally easy. But one thing I've definitely found that if I read and listen at the same time, it can really help me. Now, what helps me the most if I can read something I'm interested in that's the right level and I can listen to it being read out by a native speaker. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple trick. It's completely free. It just combines two apps, but it's super simple, and it will allow you in nearly all the common languages that we learn, like Spanish and French and Chinese and Russian and German and Italian, and I'm even learning Polish and of course English, but in many languages, you will be able to get a text written at the right level for you on the topic that you're interested in, and then to listen to it being read out by a native, native speaker as you read it yourself. This is a huge help to me, and I really hope you like this video. If you do, of course, please share it with other teachers and students. Please like it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel, because any of those things will help my ranking to go right up on YouTube. Let's get started. So let me show you an example that I've done straight away and then afterwards I'll show you how I did it. So basically I've asked ChatGPT to write a story for me at A2 level about a Polish man uh, who, or about a person who decides to go to Poland for a holiday and the experiences that they have. Now it's written a story for me and it's even obviously written the story at the level that I've required. And then all I need to do now is just to copy that story. So I'm gonna quickly copy the content of that story so I'm just gonna grab it. Now it's quite a, a long story because my level now is around B1. I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna jump over to another free tool. So I'm now on a technology called naturalreaders.com and just to point out, I've just simply logged in for free. So I just click on start for free and all I need to do is First of all, choose the language that I want to work with. And if we click here, you'll notice that we've got English and we've got Arabic and Chinese and Danish and Dutch and French and Italian, Japanese, Korean, loads of languages. And we have got Polish. So I'm going to click on Polish. I'm going to choose Marek as my voice. I click off. I paste that story in. Simple as that. And now all I need to do is click on this button and that story will be read out to me by a native speaker and I'll be able to read and listen at the same time. So let's see how well Marek does. Zimno w moim rodzinnym kraju było już zbyt uciążliwe, dlatego postanowiłem spędzić wakacje w Polsce. Chciałem poznać piękno tego kraju i cieszyć się słoneczną pogodą. Moja podróż rozpoczęła się w Krakowie. Byłem zachwykony urokiem star... Now when I want to stop it, just press here. And now it's stopped. So I've got control over it. I can even use this button to kind of jump back if I want to go back over the story or repeat different parts of it. And I do even have the ability to change the speed of the story. Now, you can't use this completely for free forever, but it is incredible what you get as a free account. And that is that you can use it for up to 4,000 characters a day. So you can every day read a story in the language that you're interested in and then practice it and of course study the vocabulary. So I find this tool really useful. Now let's go back and just take it a little bit further and I'll show you a few more things. Just a super quick break from the video. People always ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia and if you wanna access it, then there is a link to try it out for free in the description below. And there's also two links. If you wanna buy the educational version, if you're working in teaching, or you're a student, or if you want to buy the commercial version, then my links give you an additional 10% discount and you already get a really good discount on the educational version. And also, there is the link to a complete course in using Camtasia. It's a six part course and it's completely free. Now a really good tip with ChatGPT is to download this little app here that allows you to talk to ChatGPT. Let me just quickly show you how it works. So I'm just gonna click here ChatGPT, can you write me a story in English at level A2 about a person that moves to Poland for a short holiday and travels around and visits some of the interesting places in Poland? Uh, make the level around A2 in English as I'm studying English at the moment. And see, ChatGPT will go off and write that for me now, so I don't have to write anything at all. I can just simply get ChatGPT to make the story for me. 
Now, it's really interesting as well when you're doing this because you could, for example, now I'm going to say to ChatGPT, can you give me 10 words from the story which might be useful for me to study before I read the story? And off a go, ChatGPT will also give me some vocabulary related to it. Now, of course, what we can do with that story, just come back to it, the same thing is I'm just going to move my cursor up and then I use the arrow key because I want to copy the whole of the story. So I'm just simply going to copy that story and I've now got that story and I'm going to move it over to natural readers. Now, if you want to learn how to use the app in ChatGPT, I'm going to put a video on the screen now that will show you how to download and use the app in ChatGPT. Now, really important in natural readers, I'm not even signing in. I'm just literally clicking on get started for free. You can create an account and it's actually useful to create an account. As I said, you can't use it infinitely but you can use it quite a lot because you are allowed 4,000 characters a day so what I'm going to do now is simply change my language to English and of course we've got lots of different English accents that we can choose Australian Indian etc I'm going to use UK and I'm going to use Sonia and I'm just going to paste in that story and now I could do exactly the same with Sonia I could just click here and listen to the story being read out now another nice feature is you'll notice that at the bottom it kind of reads out the story and it highlights uh, the words watch this once upon a time there was a person named Alex Alex lived in a small town in England and had always dreamed of going on an adventure to a new just pause it a minute you can see here at the bottom here and I really like this and I find this very effective when working with natural readers now if you want to learn more about what natural readers can do again I'm going to add a video onto the screen now that you can watch that would help you learn more about natural readers okay really hope you liked the video and if you did please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free content if you scroll down on the front page you'll see loads and loads of other videos about technologies for language learning and for language teaching uh, if you want to join me on patreon then every week i do one video on a new ai tool connected to language learning you get one video every week and a news video update as well and that is only six dollars a month uh, you can also find out about the courses I run. And the other thing is you can sign up to my newsletter. And if you sign up to my newsletter, there's also a 14-part free course based basically on the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. And that takes you through a whole variety of different technologies that can be used in the teaching and learning of languages. Um, obviously using technology. Finally, if you want to contact me about doing any training with your organization or with you as an individual, you can contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some videos now on the screen that might be interesting.